All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Hmm. And we are up to Clown World number 320. Now, I'm actually going to be recording this on lower resolution, 540p. Uh, because, you know, I have to upload all my crap to BitChute, and obviously they've uh, been pulling away all their processing resources on BitChute for some reason. Um, so, you know, and I don't feel like going into OBS constantly changing the, the, the resolution, so, you know. Uh, fortunately, that does mean that the YouTube quality is going to be kind of shittier, because obviously it's 540p, but and for the most part, we're not doing anything graphically intensive anyway, so... Uh, you know, it's the limitations of technology and censorship, so that's just how it goes. Anyway, uh, Bitcoin interest for this week is at 7, so not a whole lot going on still with the normies. Uh, it does appear that the uh, Corona China virus is finally uh, starting to subside, you know, the fears of it, so uh, very good for us. Bitcoin dominance is at 66.1%, 24-hour volume is... Uh, Increased a lot to 96.6 billion. Not as high as normal, uh, like considered a high amount, but still much better than you know minimum. So very good sign. Bitcoin has recovered quite nicely to 84.93. Well, it's up 1.47 percent. So it looks like the China flu fears are already subsiding. Because I was trying to figure out why the past few days things were getting bad in crypto and the markets, and it turns out, oh yeah, the China flu. That thing's got everybody scared, right? Even I have to like type into Google and check what's going on, especially because, you know, at first I thought it was just another bioweapon like SARS engineered specifically to kill Chinese people. Uh, but it just does actually look like negligence, right? You know, because in China they eat uh, wolves and bats and all this other crazy meat shit that just is just barbaric, disgusting, and just not sanitary. So uh, hopefully this experience will teach the Chinese government Hey, I think we ought to like ban people from buying and eating and selling that crap, right? Because you know it's cause it's going to cause a worldwide pandemic. It'll definitely cause worldwide panic for sure. So, uh, but we you know, like I said in my previous bit shoot videos, which of course isn't going to get processed for another 10, 12 hours or t 10 years. Um, you know, it's uh, we already know about it uh, from perspective. I'll show you this NY Post, uh, NY Post Wuhan flu. Um, yeah, don't buy the media hype. Uh, I'll let you guys see the URL if you want to, and the title, so you want to read it. Don't buy the media hype over the new China virus. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's in line with everything else. So everybody else, even that includes the left wing and right wing people going in panic mode. It's, uh, it's really not that big, uh, of a deal yet. Right, because and you know we're already creating vaccines, we're already isolating people, we're already screening everybody. So we already have this shit on lockdown. So eventually it'll pass, and I'm glad that it looks like the crypto markets, uh, along with the equity markets, yeah, even the equity markets are already recovering from this. So we're 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 Tamaguchi here. We're good. Litecoin's at fifty five twenty, so it's already going back up. Very good. Uh, because I was starting to get annoyed. Uh, doggy coins at 281.2 million. It's already going back up. So if you look on the right hand side, everything's either in the green or starting to, after the flat line depression phase, is going back up. So because there's because crypto was probably supposed to go up, and then the China flu hit things. So now we have to compensate for that. And now we look like we're almost done compensating. So it'll be back to the bull run move. Because I really want you know Bitcoin to hit 10 grand, preferably within a week or two. Steam is at 16.24, it's up 2.41%, so very, very good. So we're, we're dandy. Uh, Can is just doing shit as usual. Uh, JFC is at three to four. I've decided that I think I'm just gonna stop reading Python and just go right into uh, Unity 2D game programming. Because um, now that I know a little bit more about Python, I actually realize just how much I just hate the programming language. It, they oversimplify the language where it actually becomes impossible to, you know, um, organize the code. And on top of that, I, I eventually need to learn C++ programming anyway. So if I want to create the game of my dreams and then implement it with uh, cryptocurrency. Now, the thing is, I think I still need to learn Python so I can hook up Python with the payment processor between cryptocurrency and the game and then Ethereum and all that stuff. But I think maybe I can get away with not learning Python. So, I mean, I'm just gonna have to see. Python was supposed to be a building block for me to ease back into programming anyway, so. 
Uh, yeah, because I really just want to make the game. Any any other crap that I don't want to program, I just lose interest. So, you know, plus the tutorial is follow is just teaching me stuff that I just don't care about and I know I'm not going to use. So, uh, anyway, JMC is at three to four. It'll still be some time before I can program my game, but it shouldn't actually be that hard. So, uh, we'll see. Four four coin is still suffering because of the China virus shit. So it's at twenty to twenty one. But for the most part, it still remains a pretty solid cryptocurrency. Uh, but it does mean you know, eventually you're going to have to uh, you know, create a use case, an actual real use case, so like people can start using this. 2x2 uh, two two coin is also pretty stable at 61 to 65. So again, now that people are getting over the China virus shit, hopefully everything will start going back up in price again. Because right now people are legit pretty scared. Of what's uh, going on with the virus and uh, all I have to say again is just just don't be scared trust me and on top of that and I have to keep it community guideline friendly quote unquote because I have to put this stupid shit on YouTube the globalists have a very huge interest in not letting this go out of control because they can't make money they cannot maintain power if everyone in the world either dies from the virus or literally goes crazy with panic because at that point, you're not going to listen to government. You and I wouldn't, right? We'll, we'll stock up on guns, ammo, and other crate and medicine shit. And you know what's what going to happen? We're all going to become right-wing survivalist fanatics because it's either that or die. All right? And the globals don't want that. All right? They want us to be docile slaves. So, yeah, you can bet that they're going to devote all their resources to, you know, stamping out this virus. Right? You know, because they don't want an actual Walking Dead or World War Z zombie situation. All right? You know, because, you know, because they want to control us. They don't want to annihilate us. Not yet. All right. You know, because you can't control that which everyone is dead. Right. Because there's, <laughs> there's nothing you can do with that. So, uh, like I said, you know, uh, we're, 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 we're going to be fine. All right. And if we're not going to be fine, well, you better uh, believe in Jesus Christ and get right with God so that, you know, you can have everlasting life afterwards. So, you know, that's like the worst case scenario. Well, the, the, the go to the afterlife too early kind of thing, right? Believing in God is always the best case scenario. So, you know, keep that in mind. Anyway, Compound Coin had a sudden surge in buy interest. So that's kind of nice. 452 million Compound Coins of buying, in fact, and it's shot up all the way to like 8,200 or whatever. Uh, however, whatever, uh, however, it's probably just some kind of one time off thing or some bullshit thing, because obviously I don't see any activity in between. However, I am hoping to take advantage of this temporary price jump to like sell my compound coins for a higher amount. In fact, has it arrived yet? Nope, it has not arrived yet. Bummer. So right now it's at 4800 to 8100 but I fully expect this price to really just drop. So uh, we'll see. But, you know, maybe I could actually decide to maybe, I don't know, I could take 4800 Satoshis of a dog coin, right? Because compound coins has been lagging behind all this so much. Four four coins also been getting beaten up a lot too. Uh, it recovers and then goes back down. So I don't know, but hopefully the exotic coins will uh, you know catch up. Uh, so there's really nothing of interest. Just one article here, which is the uh, Hawaii Bitcoin thing, which is very good. So we're definitely dive into that. Uh, let's see. Uh, meh, crap. Uh, Ripple is going to come out with a billion dollar crypto startup but launch time is uncertain uh, technical analysis stupidity uh detroit man is suing his bank for refusing his cash settlement right because banks censor people that's why we knew we need crypto bitmex ceo are also from the way yeah his name sounds uh black so i think there's uh yeah it's, it's discrimination lawsuit so they refuse to cash his check probably because he's black all right so that's a form of censorship uh, Arthur Hayes, uh, more of a uh, new book. Of cre yeah, so basically nothing of interest here. So let's just see what we got going on here. Uh, if this bipartisan Hawaii bill passes, Hawaiian banks can now hold Bitcoin and crypto for customers. This is what we want. We need global adoption and acceptance of cryptocurrency. And Hawaii, you know, uh, is actually usually like at the top of the Google search trends here. Um, let me see. Uh, there's a sub region. Uh, search interest. No, that's Alaska. Search interest for Hawaii is 99, right? With, yeah, with Nevada and California being 100, right? So they're usually at the top five. I don't want to click around. That's why I'm trying to see. Uh, 
yeah. But basically, Hawaii is like, you know, really gangbusters for cryptocurrency. So, yeah, it's very good stuff. Hawaiian lawmakers have introduced a bipartisan bill that will allow banks to hold crypto. Introduced on January 17th, that's seven days ago, last week. It's sponsored by five state senators. The bill defines all digital assets as intangible, intangible personal property and categorizes crypto into three things. Assets, securities, and digital currencies. That's correct. On their proposal, banks could hold all three, maintain cash reserves for blah, 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 blah. Digital assets are not deemed depository liabilities or assets of the bank. While they remain the property of the customer, banks may facilitate transactions at the customer's request. Yeah, it should be treated as property, right? What the IRS is doing is treating it as everything and then taxing it as everything. And it's like fuck, fucking bullshit. A bank's liability and loss of event, however, is unlimited. Da, 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 da. The bill also authorizes courts to hear claims relating to digital assets. Yes, because it's property, right? If you and I get in a dispute and, like, you know, let's say I have a laptop and you want it back, that's property, and we go to court over it. Cryptocurrency should be treated exactly the same way as property. If I hold proper, if I hold your property, digital uh, cryptocurrency property, and you sue me in court, you need to be able to take it back. Because again, it's property. It's a thing, right? And it belongs to you. Banks have long awaited Bitcoin crypto, characterizing the asset class as untouchable and largely associated with dark web transactions and criminal activity. Well, yeah, well, yeah, so is the US dollar. 46% of all US dollars is used for criminal activities. I don't see anybody complaining about that. So it's, it's really a bullshit um, argument against crypto. Under a clear legal framework where banks would be able to offer new crypto services for blah, 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 and every day, blah, 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 Bitcoin and numerous cousins could enter a new phase, could entire, what? Could enter a new phase of legitimacy of adoption. Uh, this guy used the wrong word here. So that's very good. Cryptocurrency adoption is just going to skyrocket. And then when it skyrockets, this trade volume is going to match or take a big chunk out of foreign currency daily trade volume, which is 8.8 .8 trillion, right? Or 8 trillion a day. And we're going to make a lot of money, right? Because Bitcoin and crypto are all going to have to rise in value in order to compensate for the daily trade volume uh, of money, you know, floating around the world. So that's when we're going to make our uh, big money. And then eventually this whole thing will saturate out just like the internet eventually saturates out and then at that point you have to actually invest in fundamentals at that point right no there's no there's not going to be any more crazy uh bubbles and stuff but there are, there will always be bubbles and busts so you know that's just how just how it goes which is why it's important you know especially for uh my bit shoot flock to always keep a uh, open mind because you know yeah, you're safe by believing God and going to heaven, but you don't have to suffer in this world either. You can still be productive, get rich, and do a lot of good, right? Especially if we're all complaining about certain uh, people screwing over uh, the Western society, you know, you want to fight back against that, you know, we're going to need money and resources to do that. So it would be a lot easier if everybody was rich, because then we could actually do something, uh, you know, to combat it, you know. For example, I wish people could donate or buy bit shoot more stuff so that i wouldn't have to wait 10 hours for my stupid videos to process on bit shoot right and i wouldn't have to resort to posting this video on youtube again right so but it is what it is so if you like what you saw it read or heard hit the like button the follow button or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from or my bit shoots at bitshoot.com forward slash real johnson chan make sure you smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page um and yeah, let's try to get my bit shoot channel to 46 subscribers and beyond. Because I'm really, I'm really begging on them improving the processing time over the long haul. You know, because even YouTube had problems with processing for many, many years so until they finally got a lot better with it. So I don't know. Hopefully, bit shoot will be the same. So I'm done for the day. I'm gonna have to go to Target uh, and refill on uh, you know uh, zero percent fat uh, free yogurt because I need my protein and uh, yeah. I will see you all in tomorrow's videos, which is going to be a Saturday. So, uh, yeah. Join us through day or night. It looks like the cryptocurrency is on its way back up. Of course, it's going in a weekend, but at least people are finally getting over the China flu uh, uh, stupid fear shit. So, uh, that should mean, uh, you know, we'll be back to making money, hopefully. Uh, or at least make more money. Because right now, I'm just still waiting and waiting and waiting. So, yeah. See you all in tomorrow's videos. Thanks. Judson Chan.
JMC coin, 404 coin, and this will be the thumbnail.